Good morning, here we are at Chad Chai Bustling Market. We're buying up stuff for our fresh Pad Thai today, which we are cooking as soon as we get home. banana flour. This is going to be served as a side dish and just to preserve it when we cut it we're going to put it into some vinegar or lime juice and water so it doesn't lose its white colour. Okay so we're going to make the chilli sauce. We're using the dried chilies and shallots. We'll cut the dried chilies and put them in the water and then peel the shallots, chop them up and add them to the blender. And this is something that we do fresh because it just, it gives it that real fresh flavour. And it is very potent. And now for the tamarind sweet and sour sauce. So here we have the ingredients. We've got coconut sugar. You can also use palm sugar. We've got tamarind sauce, which we prepared, but you can also buy at home. Here's the, here's the fresh tamarind that we've used. Start with the water and just put enough in so that it covers the base, just about half a cup. Next, add the tamarind sauce that we've pre-prepared. Then, coconut sugar. Again, all of this. It looks like quite a lot of sugar, but bear in mind this is natural sugar. You can use palm, but don't use cane sugar, as it will be too sweet, too strong. And then three teaspoons of fish sauce. This is about ready now. That's why you don't want too much water at the beginning. It's just got a little bit of consistency. And then that's when that cools, that's gonna get thicker still. So we'll stop that there. Here we have the rice noodles, which we're just preparing. We'll put them in the water so they can soak for a little bit. Sweet preserved radish, limes, egg, small dried shrimp or prawn, fresh prawns from the market, tofu, bean sprouts, oil, ground peanut. Okay, next step we've got our garlic chive flowers in this case and we're going to chop them up into nice strips of about one inch. Next we have the sweet preserved radish. This up nice and finely. Then grab your limes. Make sure you don't cut through the middle. It's a bit like an apple. We're not going to use the core. And then remove the seeds. And tofu. Slice it in half down the middle. And then each part. Just chop that into strips, so it's about a third. And then take those and chop them into small bite-sized squares. And next, just prepare the shrimps. So we're going to remove the head, just take, about, take all the shell off. taking all the shells and the heads off and the legs. We're going to devein them, which is the process where we take out the digestive tract and just cut down the back. And you can see the thin dark strip and 
it's going to be bigger in some than others, but take all this out because we don't want that messing up the flavour of our pad thai. And once you've deveined all the shrimps, turn on the pan, add a little bit of oil, heat that up, and then add the prawns to the pan. Just get them so that they turn nice pinky orange on both sides. You can see it's still prawny bit, that's fine, it's going to give the oil great flavour. Add your tofu and then give this a good stir around until it starts to turn golden brown just a little bit. That's been going for about three or four minutes. We're going to add in our reserved radish. Put the eggs in. Let them fry a little bit before we then mix, start to scramble them up in the whole plate. Next we're going in with our bean sprouts. Maybe just a few so that we can decorate the plate. Put most of them in. Uh, brine, put them all in. Okay, and then our rice noodles, which have been soaking. Now to put them all in. Put a decent amount. Next up, we're going to put the sauce in. You can add as much or as little as you want. But we like to eat it quite spicy, so we're going to put two, two and a half, I think. So don't be afraid to be rough with it. Just make sure it's all going to cook. You're not going to break it. It wants to have a consistency which is not dry, but again, not too wet. Okay, and then our tamarind sauce. Sour sauce, um. Add the garlic chive stems, mix those in well before we add the fresh prawns. These won't take long. Next is the dried prawns, which give the dish the colour and the flavour. Finally, a bit of ground peanut. And then it's ready to serve, along with banana flour, which you can see is nicely preserved and white and clean. So we're just going to plop this on the side. Okay, and here we have it, beautifully presented. Pad Thai, ready to eat. Let's have a little try of this. Mm. It's great. I'm gonna make it even better. Just squeezing a bit of the lime juice on there. And some of the sprinkling of sugar, chili flakes, ground peanut. Tuck in. 